There are a lot of plug connections and clips in the instrument panel. Therefore, proceed with the removal step by step, one step at a time. First, disconnect the battery. Also set the ventilation to the footwell. This prevents the side vent flaps from being mistakenly unclipped. For the removal, start on the passenger's side. Start in the glove compartment. First take off the side panel. Using a pull-out hook, undo the two hold clips at the upper edge of the glove compartment. Then unclip the molding from right to left. Insert the pull-out hook in both middle air vents and unclip the catches. Here you can see it more clearly. Another three plug connections and you can take off the molding. The trim under the glove compartment is attached with three screws. Also disconnect the plug connection for the footwell lighting and the AC temperature sensor. Repeat the removal of the cover on the driver's side. A total of five screws hold the glove compartment in place. Two on the underside and three on top. Lay all removed parts on a table. This way you can keep track of everything. This removal lever helps you to disconnect the plug connections for the passenger airbag igniter. There's another temperature sensor on the right next to the igniter. Separate this plug connection. The A-pillar trim is next. Under the plastic cover, there's a screw. Now there are some clips to undo, and you can take off the trim. Do the same on the driver's side, too. The head unit has two screws. You'll also find a plug connection on the right side of the head unit. And some more at the back. The display is also part of the head unit. The cover's only clipped. Use a pull-out hook to remove. Unscrew the two screws of the display and unclip the two plug connections at the back. In the recess of the instrument panel, use a long wedge to unclip the cover of the front loudspeaker. However, please use caution as the cover can break easily. The front loudspeaker is also clipped. Simply pop it out from underneath. There's also a screw to remove in the loudspeaker hollow. Proceed with the two screws of the AC operating device. And its plug connections. Where the head unit previously was, you now see this air duct. Remove the air duct and underneath the plug connection of the keyless go aerial.
Time to change sides. First, undo these two screws at the same height of the AC operating unit. A third screw is in the front part of the console. Unclip the rear cover using a screwdriver. And the last two screws are under the ashtray. Now push the center console back a little. Next remove the side cover in the driver's door, the airbag unit, the steering wheel, the air vent, the instrument cluster and the steering column module. This claw type socket helps you with the next step, the removal of the ignition switch. The start button is taken off by hand. Now for the escutcheon of the ignition switch, you need the claw type socket. And you're almost at your goal. Only these four screws, two on both sides, at the connection with the doors. The process is the same on both sides. The upper screw is at the bottom of the A-pillar. And the lower screw is at the height of the foot parking brake lever. You'll see the plug connections of the driver's knee bag through the recess of the air nozzle. To remove the instrument panel, get a colleague to help you. And now you'll see if you've disconnected all the plug connections. And with that, the instrument panel is removed.